What's going on, guys? It's Steve, and I am joined at the table by my brother Troy, my other Arlene, and Susanna and baby Marie. Now, we just finished up an amazing meal. We we're actually at Animal Kingdom. We just ate at Tusker House, which was recently reopened in like the last couple of days, which was always a buffet format restaurant here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. But now it is family style. And they've added quite a couple new options on here, including some amazing Moroccan steak, some pork, uh, bread service, you name it. it is a, you're gonna watch the video now, but it was a fantastic meal. I don't wanna spoil too much of it, except it's worth your time, I think, to watch the video, because it was great. So if this is a character dining experience. You may hear the music starting to rev up. Looks like we've got some characters possibly getting ready to enter the room. So with that, go enjoy the video, check out the food, the character interactions, and we'll see you back at the end of the video. All right, Donald. Here we go, and we're inside of Tusker House. Ooh, take a look in here. How cool does this look? First time inside a Tusker house. Very cool, look at the theme. I think that's one thing about all the Animal Kingdom restaurants is how nice the theming is. Look at the thatch roof and look the curtains. Okay, very, very excited to get in here and try. Looks like we're gonna be in the side Mickey Mouse. Right away, there's Mickey. Marty, Mickey Mouse. Oh my goodness, it's me. Hi, Mickey. Yay! Let me see. Mickey Mouse! All right, let's just give a real quick rundown of what Tusker House is. Now, Tusker House was a buffet here at the Animal Kingdom. However, post-pandemic with the reopening, like all the buffets at Disney that have reopened, it's now family style. Oh, there's Goofy! Look, 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 look. Look at Goofy on it. It's Goofy! All right, so I gotta be prepared. I think there's gonna be a lot of uh, character interruptions because they're coming very intermittently. So we already saw Mickey. We just saw Goofy, um, which is very cool. But either way, all right, let's get real quick why we don't have any characters I see coming. So here's the rundown. Tusker House was a buffet, family style now, like all the other Disney buffets, um, which is great. And I could tell by the many that I've already looked at, they've got a Moroccan beef, they've got a curry shrimp, Looks like they've got like a nice basmati rice. Obviously, um, well, it's not obvious, so let me explain. Tusker House is in the African section of Animal Kingdom, and it looks like the influence is definitely very North African, Moroccan cuisine style, which I love. If you're not familiar with Moroccan cuisine, it's some of the best food on planet Earth. So definitely excited to try this and see what it's all about. But we've got a bread service coming, salads coming. Uh, of course, like the old buffet style, all of your drinks, beverages, coffees are all included. And you get to see the characters. So, so far we've already seen Mickey. We've already seen Goofy. And uh, yeah, so let's see how this meal progresses, how it goes. We're excited, let's see how it is. Alrighty, looks like the bread service has arrived. Yummy, 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 look at that. Looks like, like little crispy sesame pitas. Rolls, the difference. Ah, oh, there's a salad. Look at that. Doesn't that look great? Yum, yum, yum. Can I ask what these are? Yes. So you have chimichurri, uh -huh. mango chutney, uh -huh. and a hummus. That's the hummus. Oh. These are papada, which are lentil crackers. Lentil crackers. Okay, very good. <laughs> what is Mama doing to you? Is she teasing you with your water bottle? Oh. She's so excited to meet Mickey Mouse. You're gonna meet Mickey and Donald and Daisy and Goofy and Pluto? Yay! Alrighty, well let's dive in and start trying some of this bread. I'm looking forward to it. So I wanna try one of these lentil. Let me show it, maybe you can see it pretty good. It's got sesame. Mmm, smells good. It's a lentil cracker. And I really wanna try the hummus first, I believe. So let's get a little hummus. Little hummus on there. It looks like it's got like a red chili pepper in it. Oh man. Ooh. Very good. Very good. Very good hummus. I like that. This is the chutney. Let's see how this is. Mm. Wow. Guys, these are so good. These lentil chips with the little. Oh wow. Yeah. 
Mm. Everything was fantastic. Here's the salad. Let's give the salad a shot. The salad nice. Is it? I like the um, salad at the uh, royal table. Let me show you the plate, guys. Make sure you guys are seeing everything. I'm having to do this one-handed. Usually Susanna's able to help me, but her hands are full right now with the baby. One more time. There's the salad. There were the uh, the hummus and the chutney with that a nice lentil, like uh, crackers, I guess, right? Lentil cracker would be the word for it, but let you guys really take a look at it. If you like hummus, you're gonna love that. And then there's the salad. And of course, it's all you can eat, so you can just keep asking for more and more and more. So I know we're definitely gonna want more of this nice lentil crackers. Let's try the salad though. I don't know, is there a dressing on this? Let's see. Hmm. Mm hmm. We're very good. Look, 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 honey. Easy dog. Look, 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 look. How cool is it? Oh, you see Daisy? You watch Daisy on TV all the time. Hi. Hey, hello. Hi, Daisy. <laughs> all righty, take a look. The food has arrived at the table. Wow, look at that. I'm just going to go down the table. So there's our bread service, more salad. Oh, look at the chips, the hummus. This is the curry shrimp. Let's zoom in on curry shrimp. Take a look at the curry shrimp. How good does that look? There's the mac and cheese moving down the table. This is the Moroccan beef. The chicken is in there. Oh, looks good. And there's the rice at the bottom. It looks like there's green beans and vegetables in there as well. Alrighty, let's start eating. Let's start tasting. I'm so excited. I feel like I didn't show you this good enough. So let me get a little bit closer to this pan of meat. Doesn't that look good? It looks so good. That's the beef, Moroccan beef. The chicken, honey, look at the chicken. I know you'll like that. There's the rice. Corn, green beans, carrots, and that's the, oh, the roasted pork. That's the roasted pork there. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Mac and cheese, nice close zoom of that. Looks like a nice creamy mac and cheese. I'm gonna borrow this thing of shrimp. It's warm. This is the curry shrimp. Take a look at that. Doesn't that look yummy? Looks very good. And then again, there's your salad. Let the zoom focus. Come on, focus, work for me. There it is. That was the salad. So, okay. I think it's time to start tasting and trying food. All right, so first thing, I've already tried the bread service. I already tried this fantastic salad. Mm, nice fresh greens. Let's try the beef. I mean, that's like the main thing here. So let's do the beef. Oh, I didn't even notice it underneath the beef. Look at these potatoes. Wow, check that out. Nice little potato wedge. Red skin, right? Yeah, red skin potato. Looks so good. But we're gonna try the beef first. I'm gonna tell you how it is. You know I'm gonna tell you how it is. You guys know the rules. Troy, what does the guy say? What does uh what does Dave Poitner say? You guys know the rules. One bite. That man to taste all the pizzas. Mm. Oh man. Troy. Guys, that beef is good. The beef is so good. I'm gonna tell him now when he comes back. Why I've got it on the plate, we might as well try a potato. Mm. I, want, I almost wanna hurry up and like sample for you guys so that I can just start enjoy, like really, really enjoying and eating. So far though, this blows away the, uh, the um, the last family style that we did, which was over at Cape May, you guys watched that review, you know how disappointed we were with that one. But here is the mac and cheese. It's a nice creamy white mac and cheese. Is it good, honey? Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. That is a very creamy white macaroni and cheese. So good. I'm going to steal another piece of beef. Mm. The beef is so good. Mm. So, so far, everything's great. The salad's fantastic. That Moroccan beef is fantastic. Beautiful. Um, pork? You guys want to try pork? Let's try pork. There we go. And just remember, they're going to bring as much of this as you want. You can just keep on having it broiled. I will say, I was talking to a couple other guests just now, and in the time I was talking to the guests, Maybe that's why the video feels choppy. 
We went from just having salad and the bread service on the table to having everything. So don't let them rush you though. Take your time, eat, enjoy, get as much as you want. All right, here is this roasted pork. Mm, smells so good. Mm. We've got a surprise. Look at Donald. Oh, Donald Duck is here. Look, 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 look. Donald Duck. Look. Oh. So as you can see where the characters are, they're a little bit hard to see. Not hard to see. I think if you were like in these tables up here, you might have a little bit better uh, interaction with them. But because we are up against this wall, you can see we're a little bit of a distance from them. So if you're really trying to get like that up close and as personal of a uh, encounter with the characters as you can right now in this pandemic world, try to request like a table in the center of the room. But it is what it is. So and it looks like he interacts or the characters they'll interact like with each table. Look, 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 he's saying hello. Look, he's saying hi. Do you see Donald? Oh, look, he's saying hello. Oh, hey. <laughs> That's who you watch on TV all the time. You watch him on TV. Look there, look, look there. Donald. Donald was just here on the TV. You were just looking over the cell phone. All right, so so far the character interactions are awesome. Everything's fantastic. The food is so good. Let me do a little adjust. You see me better? All right, if you want to see me. Look, Donald is back again. Oh, look. There he is. Okay, anyway, so let's try shrimp. Let's try this curry shrimp with this rice. Uh, off camera, I ordered more shrimp. I ordered more beef. I ordered more pork. Everything. I want to try it all, and I want a lot of it. So um, I just fired everything up. And okay. They, the, they just told me, yeah, it'll be taking a little bit, but they're gonna make it well done for her. Oh, okay. thank you so much. Uh, one thing to mention, I didn't even mention the price. It's the typical Disney like uh, family style price: fifty-five dollars per adult. Include your beverages, coffee. Mm. And so far, I can say it's well worth it. I am enjoying this. Of the family styles I've had so far, it's this is great. I gotta say, never did Tus Tusker House prior to. Mm. Oh wow! Oh wow! That that was the curry shrimp, by the way. Oh my gosh! So so good, so good. This is. I'm gonna say this right now. Like this is a little bit of a, uh, a meal for a more adventurous palate because you're dealing with hummus, chutney, uh, the beef has, fla the food has flavor, okay? Sometimes you're gonna find when you go to Disney restaurants, some stuff to me feels like it's under flavored or whatever. Like you can tell you're eating in like a restaurant that's geared towards North Africa, I would say. So either way, very, very good. Rice, shrimp, fantastic. Macaroni, fantastic. See Donald? Look, 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 look. Buddy. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Did you see Donald? Uh, unless he's watching. <laughs> and check it out, there goes Daisy. So it's a continuous uh, like cycle of characters. They're coming like every minute. Alright, next up, these little uh, the rolls. These were also on the part of the bread service, I should say. Very, very soft. Um, let's try this apple chutney on us. Put a little apple chutney. Hope you guys can see that. Here, let me touch my focus. Maybe you can, yeah. There, it's there. I promise it's on there. You saw it earlier in the video. Mm. So far, I'm just so impressed with everything. And actually, I didn't get any vegetables yet. Let's get a little vegetables going. Here's some of the greens. Green beans, corn. Looks very, very good. And I want to try a piece of this chicken. That's a breast. Who wants this breast? Can I take this? Okay. Look, guys, I got a whole chicken breast. That's exactly right. You get as much as you want to. Eat it and enjoy. I can say right now, Troy is with me again for today. And he's saying the same thing. This blows away 
taint me. If you want to do like a family style, all you can eat, do it here at Tusker House right now. Hands down. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. So let me show you the chicken up close. You can see what we're dealing with here. There's the chicken. About to taste that. Just wanted to let you see it. And that was the bread, which was very, very good. Okay, and the greens. I know it doesn't look that nice on the table like that, but okay. Oh, well done here. that's for the lady. Here we go. We got more food coming. Yeah, the for the side There's the chimichurri. Some more roasted potatoes and flank steak. Oh, flank steak, roasted potatoes. I love that. Uh huh. Great. I think. Can we get another uh, bread service, please? Another bread service, of course. Can we have more pork? More pork? Pork bread service. Please. Okay. Thank course. you. Can I see that shrimp? How they brought it? Look at that. Doesn't it look appetizing the way they're serving everything? It just looks so nice. Look how they brought the chimichurri with the steak. What's that? Green curry shrimp. Green curry shrimp. Is yeah, so it's not spicy like the red Okay. Yeah, it wasn't very spicy at all. It was just full of flavor. Everything is very flavorful, which is not always uh, what you find in a lot of Disney restaurants. Everything is sometimes a little uh, toned down to meet uh, such a vari wide variety of palates, but this is... This is good. This is really good. Alrighty, let's try the chicken. See how easily they come and refill your table. Honestly, right now, the service is fantastic. We're basically basically being helped by two cast members. Great. Here's the chicken. That's good. Nothing, nothing special about the chicken. It's just nice roasted chicken. It's not dried out or anything, so it's good. If you have um, someone that's a chicken lover in your party, they're going to enjoy the chicken. Probably would be nice to dip the chicken maybe with the chim... Put the chicken with the chimichurri sauce or something. So, but it's good. Everything is good. All right, I can say this right now. This meal is one of the best meals we've done in a long time, right? For, for family style, for not having a menu and just... I don't know. I'm just enjoying this food so much. So... We're being welcomed to Tusker House, if you can hear the recording overhead. Remain seated, they're telling you. Don't get up. Mm. This winner. I guess the characters are coming. They made a little announcement to tell you like, to remain seated, which is unfortunate. Hopefully one day we'll be able to get up and be able to get pictures with the characters. I would love to take baby Marie over there, but it's a little bit hard. You can't do it right now. So you got to keep the uh, characters <laughs> safe without having to interact with so many people up close. But anyway, so far though, food-wise, I can't really decide what I like the most. It's just all really good. Only thing that maybe is a little thing for me is the chicken. And that's just, it's not that it's bad chicken, it's just there's so many other things to eat. But this bread service, oh my God, this cracker. Oh my God, so good with the hummus, the, the chutney or the, the chimichurri. Mm. Isn't chimichurri though, that's a, uh, Venezuelan or something, right? But I guess they use chimichurri in, in Africa too. I don't know. Look, 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 look. It's goofy. Look, look, look. Look, honey. Look. <laughs> she doesn't care. <laughs> oh. So, my thing is, the character meet, the character interactions, meet and greets are great. I just, you know, my baby's still a little bit small. Like, she doesn't quite understand the characters yet. She's looking at them, and, but she's not quite sure what she's supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? But um, right now, it's just so fun because you get to meet them all. They're all here. Mickey, Goofy. We haven't seen many of them. We've seen Daisy. Uh, no Pluto yet. So, we're waiting on what? Pluto, maybe? Minnie? But, um... Either way, the food is just fantastic. I'm not overhyping it, but look, I've said before, we're Armenians, so our palate is, we're used to like food with a little more spice, a little more kick. 
this food is definitely down my alley. I'm enjoying this. My brother's enjoying it. Mother, Susanna, we're all just enjoying the meal completely. And it's actually kind of relaxing in here. I don't, I don't really feel rushed at all. But I tell you what, if you're trying to have diet for you, sir. Ah, please, I'll take another diet. Thank you. I, you know, what I was saying is I don't feel rushed at all. However, if you um. If you're trying to get in and out of here in an hour, you definitely could do that. So it doesn't have to kill like your afternoon at the park. So if you're visiting Animal Kingdom, you can eat here in one hour, in my opinion, right? Y'all agree? You could have a full stomach in an hour here, right? Okay, they're not agreeing because they think they need more time. But, um, yeah, anyway, so the service is quick. However, you don't have to go quick. You can take your time, like we're going to do. And I'm going to keep eating because I just got another bowl of beef while uh, Goofy was dancing. So, all right. So rarely do I get this excited, like mid-meal. Let me fix my camera, hold on one second. There we go. But um, I was just sitting here talking with Troy and everybody. We all agree, like, this is a fantastic dinner option. Okay. Oh, we got somebody coming. Maybe. Mumbo Jumbo. I like the music. But whether, what I want to say is whether you care about the character situation or not, the food is great. Just, I'm just, I feel like we've just had some really great meals over the last couple of weeks here at Disney. There he is! Goofy! Look at that! Yay! And there he goes. And that's just basically continuous throughout the meal. But anyway, like I was saying, we were talking like characters, no characters. This is just a great place to eat. Whether you're in Animal Kingdom or not even that, it's just, it's really, really good. Um, yeah, okay. Look, 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 look. It's Daisy. Okay. <laughs> I, don't think she, I don't think she's ready yet. Next year, look at Daisy. I think next year she'll be more excited to meet Daisy. We tried though. I think the parents are more excited for the children to be with the character than the ch child is with the character. She's still a little small. She's got a little more growing to do. All right, well, I think it's like intermission on the eating. I've already eaten so much. I just wanted to kind of take a little walkthrough of the restaurant. Um, I'll turn around now and show you where we were actually dining. We're seated in this room off to this side. Uh, restrooms down there. Look at this. Let's look at the fame angle. How cool does this look? And I think this is one of the things I think of when I think of all of the Animal Kingdom restaurants. The theming is so cool. Like I think a Yak and Yeti and so forth. But look how like, the, the walls are aged. And just looks so cool. But either way, this is the main dining room. You can see where they're cooking. I see the fire over there on that side. I'm assuming that's where they're doing the chicken and the beef, all the yummies and the goodies. But yeah, just looks really, really cool. Check that out. Up there on top, that balcony. So much detail and everything. Alrighty, well, we just finished up our meal. It was fantastic. Why is not the whole meal? Dessert is still on the way, but the main course is done. Fantastic. We've been talking about it the whole time we've been eating, how much we enjoyed it. We ate so much food. Wow, everything was great. I can't think of like one negative on this meal. Everything's fantastic. I would say they have something for everybody. Um, if you're a little bit more of an adventurous palate, you're gonna really enjoy this because there's a lot of flavors, a lot of spice between the chutney and the hummus and the, the I don't know, everything. Everything's just fantastic. Overall, really, really, really loved it. The potatoes, even the mac and cheese is great. Now, if you want something that's a little bit more tame, They've got the grilled chicken. And I didn't even realize until when I took you guys to walk over into the main uh, room that everything's being cooked on a fire here. I had no idea. I didn't know that. So um, yeah, but anyway, take a look at this. Jumbo juice. If you guys are familiar, this is something that they serve usually like at um, Boma over at Animal Kingdom Lodge. Not, I'm assuming the restaurant's gonna open soon. Troy, what day is Animal Kingdom Lodge opening? Like in July, I can't remember. They just announced their opening date for the DV side. The DVC side has been open for a long time, but the actual resort side has not, or the you know non DVC side. But anyway, Jumbo Juice, 
awesome, awesome, awesome drink. I can't remember what is in John Lou's juice. And passion fruit, passion fruit, orange juice, guava. Okay, it's fantastic. But anyway, the server happened to have it like on the tray. I didn't know they serve it here. And like I said, we've never been to Tusker House before, even pre-pandemic. So I don't know if they've always had Jumbo Juice here or not. But I'm so excited. So he brought us a glass. All of us got a glass of Jumbo Juice. Cheers. Let's try it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We used to always love to go to Boma for breakfast. And one thing I think of when I think of Boma for breakfast is, you know, like the pork and everything they would serve you. At Boma for breakfast, but I loved having my breakfast with the Jumbo Juice. So happy that I got to have this today. It's been well over a year since I've had Jumbo Juice. So, anyway, fantastic meal. Desserts are coming. I'll show you guys that next. Alrighty, well, dessert just came out to the table. Let's take a look at it. Let's see what's here. Let's turn this around so we can see it better. Focus is there. Let's make sure. Let's start from left. To right. Now this first one here on the left is what he called a bumblebee cake. Look at that. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Can't wait to try that. This one here in the center is a brownie with chocolate ganache. Is that like a little uh, design? Maybe I need to turn it this way. Yeah. Oh, it's the animal. It's a tree of life cake. It's a tree of life cake. Okay. Chocolate ganache. And then look at this little cupcake with the little like a uh, tiger print on it. Yeah. Very cool. So tiger print cupcake, chocolate ganache, tr brownie slash tree of life with a little white chocolate on it, and the bumblebee cake. Very cool. And you can see a little bee there. Okay. And we got another one on the table. We've got two of these. So yum, yum, yum. Very excited. Honey, what do you think of the desserts? It looks very good. Ready to try? I, I want to see it tastes very good too. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, let's dig in. <laughs> look, 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 look at Mickey! She's shy. Oh. Don't be shy, honey. Oh. Oh. It's fun, right? Take a look at this now. Our kind server who's been amazing. I gotta say, not only has the experience been great, you know, you've got Mickey Mouse hanging out while you're eating, all of these great desserts and great meals and so forth, but our, the service has just been amazing. And our kind, awesome, super cool server, he offered to bring us this. Now, I, I believe the way I understand it, this is something that they would normally have had pre-pandemic if it was the buffet style, but he was saying this is like his favorite thing. It's a plant-based chocolate dessert. I don't know how else to describe it. Plant-based chocolate dessert with like dried pomegranate. That looks very, very good with the strawberries. So, all right, let's try some desserts. I got four desserts here to try and I'm excited to do them all. Alrighty, here we go. Time to start trying. Can I try this plant-based? Do you guys, anyone offended? Did you want a picture of this before I break into it? All right, let's try it. You already got a picture. Okay. Plant-based chocolate. Here we go. I got a little pomegranate on the side. Mm. Wow. Oh, that is so good. Oh, you guys are in for a treat with that. Mm. I mean, look, I'm not going to lie. I'm not vegan or vegetarian, so I don't try a lot of plant-based food. I just, I haven't, so I don't have a lot to compare it with. What I will compare this with, though, is if this was like a, I guess if it was real chocolate, is that the right word? I can't tell the difference. It tastes really, really good. It's like a, here, let me show it to you. Kind of looks like a chocolate, like almost like a mousse. Okay, like a chocolate mousse and those little dried out pomegranates. FYI on pomegranate, pomegranate is like, that is the fruit of Armenia. That, Armenia's like fruit is the pomegranate, which is what that is. So very, very, very good. I'm going to send this down to the table because I think everybody else is waiting to try this. But server was correct. Very good. If you're interested in trying this, I'm sure if you ask your server very kindly, they will bring this out to you. And you'll be just as happy as I am about it. So 
All right. All righty. Next plate of goodies. Here we go. Let's try this next plate of goodies. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Where do I start? Do I start with the brownie? Do I start with the cupcake? Or do I start with the bumblebee cake? The Tree of Life Brownie, I think, is where we start. I mean, it is Animal Kingdom after all, so let's go with this one first. Yum, yum, yum. Brownie, small bite, here we go. Mm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow, that's a good brownie. Very good brownie. I'm gonna try the other side, though. Other side. Mm. Yummy. Let me show you the brownie one more time. Look at that. Very rich, very chocolatey. Um, chocolate ganache and brownie. Yum. Next up, let's try bumblebee cake. Alrighty, here we go. Bumblebee cake. I'm trying to see how to cut it. I don't wanna I almost it almost looks so cute, I don't wanna like butcher it to eat it. Mmm. That's very good too. The bumblebee cake is light. Of all the desserts so far, the bumblebee cake is the least rich. It's very light. Why now? You said it's not sweet, right? Yeah, that bumblebee cake would have... Yeah, the, the plant-based dessert is fantastic. The bumblebee cake would be perfect with coffee, which FYI, we got. And I guess let me bring this up. I barely forget to mention this a lot. Whenever you do like, well, they're not buffets anymore, but these all-you-can-eat family-style meals, your sodas are included, coffee's included. If you come here to Tusker House, Jumbo Juice is included too, so. And I, maybe I didn't mention the price either. I noticed, I have a tendency to forget to mention price in videos, but um, per adult, it is $55 per adult. All right, let's try this little cupcake here. I believe it's got an orange frosting. Mm, good cupcake. Fantastic cupcake. Not like, um, not overly sweet. There's not much to say though. It's a cupcake. Um, yeah, it's just a good all around cupcake. All around, all the desserts are very good. I would say my favorite is that plant-based triangular little deal. That was so good. Again, I don't eat plant-based food very often, if ever, so I don't have much to compare it to, but I enjoyed it. I like that a lot. It seems like everyone else at the table enjoyed that one. On the plate of three items, brownie is the winner. Yummy, 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 yummy. Good in the tummy. Mickey Mouse! There he is! There he is! Mickey Mouse! Master of ceremony! I love it! The energy in the room is fantastic and bigger. And Goofy's here! Look at Goofy dancing! Goofy! Alrighty, well, I've changed sides, if you can tell. I have a little different backdrop. I traded places with Susanna. She's with baby Marie right now. But the meal is finished, and everything fantastic. Our server, Nick, was amazing. I can't get over how much all of us enjoyed this meal. Everybody at the table. My brother loved it. My mother loved it. Susanna loved it. Baby Marie loved it. Whatever she was tasting and trying. But, um... The atmosphere is just great. The theming of the restaurant is so cool. I mean, you guys kind of got a taste of that. Look, 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 as I'm talking again. Donald Duck. I mean, the characters just, they don't, they keep on coming. Look at that. This is great. So yeah, the characters just keep on coming out. It's just fantastic. The atmosphere was great. I, I, I don't know, the desserts were awesome. The plant-based dessert, you do have to ask for that. So if you're looking for something plant-based, ask for the plant-based dessert. They'll bring that out. Um, you know, the server, we were talking to him, because like I said, we've never been to Tusker House before, even before the pandemic. And um, he was saying that some of the stuff that we served today would not normally be on the buffet, but he said they've been just getting such great feedback from guests on how much you're enjoying the meal that the steak that's on here, that Moroccan steak, the pork, uh, it looks like that's gonna be a staple. Even if they end up going back to the buffet, they'll include those on the buffet. Personally, I am so happy with the way they do this though, family style. Look, we had a really bad experience at Cape May opening day. You guys have probably seen that video. Just didn't like the food, the food quality. From what I understand, nothing over there has changed yet and that there's, you know, people are still not having great experiences at Cape May yet. But family style here, boom, awesome. Now, me and my brother, we were talking. We both still want to try family style at a couple other restaurants. 
what am I thinking of? Beer Garden, they have what looks really, really good from, I've seen other people's reviews. Um, but so far, the ones I've had, you know, we, we had a reservation for uh, Chef Mickey's, but we ended up canceling that. I saw some other people's reviews and what was on the, the food, it didn't look great. Our baby girl is a little bit small to really appreciate uh, character dining. We kind of got a feel for how she is with it today, which was she would she kind of look at them, but she wasn't like, um, she's, she's a few months away from really soaking in character dining, I think. So we'll probably do Chef Mickey in a few months, but look, if you've got a day, if you're gonna be here at Animal Kingdom, you need a dining reservation somewhere to eat, try to get Tusker House. I still like Yak and Yeti here too. I'm a big fan of Yak and Yeti at Animal Kingdom, but now I think I'm even a bigger fan of Tusker, I am. I'm a bigger fan of Tusker House, so I guess it would be more expensive than Yak and Yeti. Yak and Yeti is a normal menu restaurant. Troy, who owns Yak and Yeti? Is that Patina's? It's one of those groups that owns a bunch of the restaurants on Disney property, but it's good. They have a very like adventurous menu as well. But either way, Tusker House, the food is awesome. Something different. The food was just different. I enjoyed it so much. So, 55 bucks a person, well worth it in my opinion. Mm -hmm. What's that? Yeah, includes yeah, includes all non-alcoholic drinks, coffee, Jumbo juice, coke, sodas, you name it. So it was just very, very, very good. What's that, honey? Yes, all of it. Yeah, should be. Oh yeah, the Jumbo juice, everything's included. Coffee. I know. I think they've always. Now they think about. It, I think they've always had Jumbo juice at Tusker House. And they do have a breakfast option here too. So if you don't want to do dinner, you can do breakfast. I will say one thing. So we were talking about this. You're gonna eat a lot when you come here. So if you're having a day at Animal Kingdom, after you eat here, I don't know, like your energy level's probably gonna go <laughs> really low for a little while. I would try to eat here maybe to, eh, look, it's hard to get reservations, but if you could somehow work your reservation here where you eat at Tusker House and it ends your day. Like, I don't know, you get like a, 5 p.m. reservation and the park closes at 7. Gives you a very comfortable two hours to enjoy your meal if you want to set aside that much time for eating on your Animal Kingdom day. But it would be a little tough to eat this much food and then for me personally to go out into the heat and the humidity of Orlando and ride a lot of big rides or something. So just think about that too. It's a lot of food. It's a lot of very good food. Very good desserts. Can't say enough except 10 out of 10, super, super enjoyed it. It was awesome. So I guess, guys, that's a wrap on this video. Um, the consensus is winner Tusker House. Yes, great character dining option. Um, it's always, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to like the video if you're enjoying the content. Comment down below if you had tried Tusker House since it reopened, or have you been to Tusker House before pandemic when it was still the buffet format? Or just comment, you know how it is, whatever you want to talk about. So. Um, don't forget to check out mousesneakers.com. We've got a lot of new shirt designs on there. We've still got face masks. Don't forget at Disney, in certain situations, you still need masks like on the transportation systems, like the buses, the monorails. I, have, I don't know about the ferry boats. I kind of forgot about the ferry boat, but I'm 99% sure on the ferry you need masks too. So I do have masks on the website still. And uh, I do have some merchandise still left over straight from the park. But yeah, make sure to check out mousesneakers.com. Links are in the description. Subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Bell notification icon. And um, I guess that's a wrap. So we'll see you guys in the next video. We hope you all have a great one. Take care. Bye. And as we're walking out of here, just check out like the theme. I can't get over the theming. Look, there's like a translation. Very cool. Back to this main room. All the artwork. Looks so, so cool. And we are heading out. Look at the ceiling. Really, really neat place. Wow, we really enjoyed this. Have a good one. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Appreciate You're that. Welcome. Look at the theming. The building looks neat. That was a nice, nice meal. Yeah. Did, did my baby fall asleep? I don't know. Oh, she's asleep. You want to put her in the crib so she goes to sleep? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, that means that's the end of the video. Check this out. I just want to show you guys more of this theming of the uh, Tusker House. Because I didn't film coming into here. Look at the masks. How cool is that? That's looking back towards the entrance. Okay.